Okay, so today I'm going to compare the Intel i7 6700K, 7700K, as well as the new 8700K CPUs against each other. This is specifically for those that either own a 6700K or 7700K, since I do get such a question fairly often actually. Should you even bother upgrading to the 8700K when coming from the 6700K or even 7700K? We all know Intel hasn't done much when looking at Skylake and Cable Lake. Hardly any differences, more or less just a small clock speed bump on the Cable Lake counterpart and a slightly improved memory controller that can take higher frequencies. Other than that, everything remains the same. But then came AMD's Ryzen and it did disrupt Intel's business strategies by quite a bit. So to keep up with all the multi-core performance offered by Ryzen, Intel was forced to launch Coffee Lake, now featuring 6 cores on the i7-8700. The amount of cache increased too and DDR4-2666 RAM is now also supported natively. But a question might arise, is it really worth it upgrading if you already own a 6700K or 7700K? I will be testing stock performance only. Well, to keep it nice, simple and short, yes, Coffee Lake does offer some really remarkable performance improvements over its predecessors Cable Lake and Sky Lake right out of the box running at stock speeds. Obviously, there hardly is any real difference between the 6700K and 7700K, especially when looking at those gaming results. We do get to see a little bit of a more significant bump in speed and rendering aspects as seen in Cinebench and Vegas Pro 14, however, nothing earth shattering. And while we we are at it, rendering wise, those 6 cores on the new 8700K Coffee Lake CPU really help. We suddenly see a major performance leap in multi-threaded applications, but that's just raw CPU power not everyone is really interested in. Many of you guys that purchase an i7 only have one intention and that is to game. And due to the slightly higher single core results seen on the Coffee Lake side of things, theoretically there is a pretty significant frame rate difference. That is at 720p though. We in 2017 tend to play at 1080p, 1440p or even 4k and that is where those small FPS differences hardly make any difference since we're quickly running into a GPU bottleneck. Still certain games even show small FPS increases at 1080p even, but is an upgrade really worth it? No, definitely not. If all you really want to do is game, then stick with your 6700K or 7700K and should you really want the most out of your CPU, just go ahead and overclock it a little. But don't go out wasting your hard earned cash on such a CPU upgrade. Rather save the money for a nice GPU upgrade in the future. However, there are two sides. There are those that don't want to go the AMD Ryzen route and simply want to stick with Intel. Skylake and Cable Lake don't offer as much multi 
the core performance as Ryzen does. So if you're really dependent on that multi-threaded power, you might could go for Coffee Lake, but only if you have enough cash to spend, although I have mixed feelings on that one. Don't forget about the motherboard you need to purchase for Coffee Lake. Long story short, no, I don't think most of you need to upgrade to an 8700K. If you happen to own a 6700K or 7700K, you still have one hell of a good system. If you're buying new though, you probably should go for Coffee Lake as long as you find a good deal since the availability at the time of writing the script is still very scarce. And yeah, what about you? What are your opinions on this subject? And as always, thanks for watching.